Well, get ready, friends, to be spooked. I am here with John Milan and Gail Offen. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you both? Great. How are you doing? Ready to come to Bay City. Oh, yes. We're so excited <laughs> that you're going to be here. You are both Michigan authors, and you write about everything from history to travel and food. Then you decided to focus on, listen to this, friends, Michigan Haunts. That's the name of your new book, and it is intriguing. Are there a lot of haunted stories in Michigan? There are a ton of haunted stories. We've traveled across the entire state, upper and lower peninsula, and there's stories everywhere. We like to say we're not ghost hunters, we're ghost story hunters, and boy, did we find a lot. I love that. So what are some haunted spots in our area? Well, I think some of the uh, most intriguing spots in the Bay City and the Saginaw Bay area include, of course, the uh, USS Edson, which oh. is a Vietnam-era destroyer which is considered very haunted. And also the, the State Theater, which we love. We found a lot of haunted theaters all over Michigan, and the State is one of the best ones. It's not only a beautifully restored theater, yeah. it actually has a seat dedicated to one of the managers who died in the 40s, and he comes back a lot, and they oh. see him sitting in the seat, so they, I love that they have a seat just for him. No one else gets to sit in it but Floyd. I right. love that about Floyd. That is fascinating did not it's know that cool. it, listen to this i am so sure that people think that you guys are ghost hunters like you said are you do you do any of that no we're no. not paranormal people the okay. only uh, equipment i have is a cuisinart i don't think that's going <laughs> to help you find ghosts but that's why we want to tell people even if you don't believe in ghosts but you just want to learn more about michigan and right. a really interesting part of michigan that's why you should come to our show you know you read a lot of books about ghost stories and yeah. ghost ghosted houses but this is the only one that is public places that you can visit. You can visit every one of the places in our book. And I it's have like to a, ask you, John, what do you say to those non-believers, John? Well, what we like to say is we know something strange is going on. I actually lived in a house that you would consider haunted. Oh. Uh, yeah. And I knew something was going on that was uh, obviously not normal. Right. But how do you explain it? And, you know... Uh, it doesn't matter whether you believe in uh, ghosts or life after death or anything like that. All you have to know is that something strange is going on here. And uh, we leave it to the ghost hunters to figure out what that might be. <laughs> right. We know a lot of ghost hunters, too. And, and uh, I know the uh, some of the sites we just talked about yeah. are uh, constantly under study. And I know that you've piqued everyone's interest now. You have a Bay City show coming up. Michigan's most haunted places and darkest legends. It's at yep. the Work Public Library, Cancellor Community Room, and it's this Saturday, October 22nd, from 2 p.m. until 3.30 p.m. Can people still join in on the fun, and what can they expect? Absolutely. Uh, there's sign-ups. You can go online to the library. They have a link that you can sign up. You can expect a fun, lively, funny, interesting show, and we're happy to answer questions. We're going to bring books to sell, and we'd love to hear people's own ghost stories. Like John says, Ooh. you just never know. It could be, you never know what it could be. It could be a, a physics. <laughs> <laughs> I love but that. we love interacting with our audiences, and we have a lot of places right around you you might not even know that have haunted legends. Oh, I have to know that to know where I need to avoid. Okay, so listen to this. So you don't, you don't really have to believe in ghosts to really enjoy the show. It's also, I think, a really fun way for for kids to learn about Michigan's history. Right. Yes. That's a fun way for them. They, they think most history is boring. This way, the, our book is indexed, so you can pick any city in the state and look and find a place, and that would intrigue a kid to find out more about Michigan through their sort of ghostly history. So we think of it as a sneaky way for kids to learn history, a fun way. Yes, right. we appreciate you both. Thank you so much for joining us and happy Halloween. Keep spooking Happy us. Halloween. Oh, Thank you it. so much. See you Bay City this yes. Saturday. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You are so Thanks welcome. Thank us. you so much. And if you have any ideas that you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at 4pmnews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4pm News Spotlight.